Welcome to 10 Career Questions. My name is Kevin Abnell, and I'm the Executive Director of the York County Alliance for Learning. This video is part of a series of interviews where we speak to various professionals working within each of the 16 nationally recognized career clusters. The purpose of this series is to get to know people working within each career cluster and to help promote a better understanding of various career paths. Resources like this video are intended to help promote career awareness and career exploration as students move closer to making important career decisions. Today, we'll be speaking to someone who works within the marketing career cluster. This career cluster is focused on planning, managing, and performing marketing activities to reach organizational objectives. Today's interview is being presented by York College of Pennsylvania, and we sincerely thank them for their support. Thanks for being here today. Welcome to 10 Career Questions. Uh, we're gonna jump right in with question number one. What's your name and who do you work for? My name's Rebecca Hanlon and I'm with Our York Media. Hey, Rebecca, what's your job title there and what are some of your, we'll say day-to-day -day activities that you do there? So I'm the president and co-owner of the company with my husband. Day-to-day um, -day activities, so we run a um, digital media website where we promote um, branded content that we create for local brands. So we have a branded content website. We also do some general marketing services. Most of them are um, geared towards social media, um, digital advertising, um, that sort of thing. So we do content creation, social media management, digital advertising, um, kind of focusing on that specific area of helping a business reach an online audience. Great. And um, just sort of a broad question, but what are if you could describe the industry that you work in, marketing in general, if you could just give a brief overview for those that may not be familiar with, with what that entails. So marketing is uh, really helping a brand, a business, a nonprofit, any sort of organization work on how they present themselves to the public. Um, that can be through um, general communications, that can be through advertising, um, that can be through trying to market or advertise a product. Um, or service. Um, it's really how they present themselves to the general public, how they talk about themselves. Okay. Now, um, th throughout your career, um, if, if you don't mind telling us, how long have you worked in this industry and what are some of the job titles or, or other roles that you've served in throughout your career? Um, my journey has been non-traditional in marketing. So I didn't actually start out in marketing. I started out in journalism. Um, I have um, largely worked in uh, traditional media um, before starting this company with my husband about five years ago. Um, so my role um, in, in marketing has been in learning a lot of the, the new formats of marketing. So a lot of the digital presence of things, which you know have been around for a few years, but they're always changing. And so we look at um, you know, the, the more modern forms of, of marketing um, in relation to storytelling and, and really pulling on our background as journalists. Okay, so when we talk about training or education, you, know, you, you just said you, you went to school for, for journalism. Is there any, any sort of other training or education you, you've gotten? That, that could be on the job training too, by, by the way, when you answer that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things that um, we have done and I think other people can do to um, learn on the job or learn as you go in a field. Um, in the marketing world today, there actually, actually is a lot of conversation around content marketing, around storytelling marketing. So our skill sets in journalism were really applicable to that marketing scene and that move toward um, emotionally engaging an audience beyond what somebody would do in traditional advertising. So beyond just um, a logo or a a billboard or something like that. How do brands um, emotionally connect with their audience through storytelling? So I went to college um, for a degree in English. Um, I went to Millersville University and at the time um, their journalism focus was under the English department. Um, I knew I wanted to go into journalism. 
Um, journalism has been a changing industry over the years. When I decided it wasn't um, a good place for me to be anymore, that I wasn't going to be able to reach some of my career goals, marketing seemed like a great field for that. You'll probably find a lot of former journalists in the marketing kind of uh, public relations field. Um, but it's also a great place to use storytelling. So you're still using those skills. And whether you are someone who um, studies communications, public relations, um, or journalism, it doesn't necessarily have to be that direct marketing route. These are kind of skills that overlap. Um, in terms of continued edu education, because we do a lot of things with um, social media, an ever-changing uh, format. Um, we do a lot of social media advertising. Um, people are using new platforms and devices all the time. Um, they are consuming content differently all the time. So even though something like Facebook has been around for a while or Instagram has been around for a while, they are constantly updating their platforms and having new features or new ways that you can use those platforms. So there are a lot of resources out there in terms of, um, you know, people who put out classes or programs um, in how to learn how to use those tools to your advantage. Um, we certainly have certain um, things that we follow to make sure that we're staying up to date on that. Um, and then in turn, we also offer some of our own classes to people to help them learn how to use some of those, those tools on their own. That's great. You know, uh, I, I mentioned at the, at the top of this, that this is a series of about 16 different interviews. And it seems like uh, no matter what you do, no matter what industry you get in, you're not gonna be able to escape learning new things and continuing to, to educate yourself and stay up to date, whether it's manufacturing, construction, accounting, marketing, it's, it seems that things are constantly changing and you have to, you have to stay sharp if you want to, you want to stay. Yeah. Up. Especially if you utilize any sort of technology. So, you know, in a lot of those industries that you mentioned, um, technology helps drive things forward. Technology is always changing. And if you're going to stay on top of your industry, you're going to need to learn how to adapt and change to it. So that's one of the challenges is kind of staying on top of everything. Um, but it also keeps it interesting. It also, you know, makes your job not so boring because you're not doing the same thing monotonously over and over again. You're having to stay sharp and, and learn what's going on. And, and some of those things are really fascinating. That's great. And I just full disclosure, um, why, why I'm enjoying this so much is because my, uh, my degree is in marketing and uh, <laughs> I, I always enjoyed the, the things are ever changing and you have to you yeah. have the ability to be creative and, and do some fun things there. So, yeah. um, well, when we talk about that, you kind of look at an attitude of, of constantly wanting to, to stay sharp and stay on top of things. What are some of the personality traits or, or characteristics that you feel someone who's going to be successful in marketing uh, really should have? I think um, a sense of creativity, of curiosity. Um, in marketing, you're really trying to learn, um, yes, about the product or service that you are selling, or if you're an agency, what your client is selling. Um, but you're really trying to learn who's buying that, who is interested in consuming that product or using that service. Um, so you, you want to not only learn their habits and behaviors and be curious about how they might use something, um, but then how are they going to best digest the information that you're, you're putting in front of them? So the sense of creativity, you, you really have to be willing in marketing, I think, to try things, be accepting of the fact that, um, some things will work and some things won't. Um, you might tweak things as you go, you'll learn. Um, what your audience is interested in consuming, um, what type of content they want to see, what they engage with the most. And especially in using a lot of these digital tools, you're just tweaking that as you go. And so, you know, in marketing, um, there's kind of a need to be willing to be open to risk, to be um, uh, interested in developing those creative skills so that you can um, put out something that's really engaging and interesting. Um, I, I think being a people person, now this is interesting because I tend to be very outgoing and connect with people. And I think that's a great skill in marketing, but my husband's kind of a, a little more of, um, not as much of a social butterfly as I am. Yet he comes up with really cool concepts and interesting things related to marketing um, that I would not. So sometimes it's, um, you know, also some basic technical skills, I think, 
in knowing how to use some of those platforms, how to develop, you know, even if you're not a graphic designer, which is, you know, a very specific aspect of marketing, sometimes a general skill set and that can be very helpful. So, you know, I think creativity, willing to take certain risks, um, willing to always be learning and, and seeing what's out there and what people are interested in. Great. Um, Rebecca, what's the best part about your job? Um, it kind of goes back to my personality traits. I love talking to people. I love meeting new people. Um, and that's one of the great things about my job, partly because I am president and co-owner of this company. So my job is to go out and meet people and, and, you know, try to acquire new business and also talk to people, but you're constantly learning new things. Um, I interview people on a regular basis to learn about what they do. Um, so there are a lot of fields that I might not work in myself because I work in kind of this marketing storytelling um, lane, but they specialize in these other things and they're really interesting and they have this human connection to them. And I get to learn a lot about that just by helping them talk about themselves or what it is that they do. I that absolutely resonates with me. That used to be yeah. one of my favorite when I was part in sort of business development for a marketing firm. That was one of my favorite things. Yeah. Just getting to know the, the person and, and seeing if, if there was something we could possibly do to help them. Yeah. So that's great. Um, I, I hate to flip that a little bit on you, but <laughs> what would you say is the most challenging part about your job or, or maybe just the marketing industry in general? I think the fact that things are constantly changing, that's a, a great thing because it keeps things fresh and new. It keeps you on your toes. You can't become complacent, but um, you also have to keep on top of it. You have to make sure that when you're putting things together, that you're um, being on top of those changes. I think another aspect of it in marketing in particular, um, especially because we're more kind of that agency as opposed to an internal you know, marketing department for one company. We work with a variety of companies. So they all offer something different. They all talk to different audiences. And one of the challenges is learning um, what is their voice? What is their tone? And being able to adapt that to each client that we work for, that it doesn't sound like us necessarily, but it sounds like them. And that's something that I think you learn over time with practice, with getting to know who it is that you're, you're working with and who they need to talk to. You, you kind of learn how to tweak and develop that voice as you go on. Great. Um, keeping in mind that the sort of intended audience for, for, this, for this video is going to be mostly high school students, what would you say is the career outlook in the next one to five years for someone who might be looking to, to get hired in this industry? So I, I definitely think there's a lot of opportunities in this industry, um, especially coming from a, a journalism background. This is something that we have seen internal marketing departments or agencies are really filling a gap for a lot of businesses that used to rely on traditional media to get the word out about their companies. Um, you know, traditional media outlets, have, as you know, my husband and I have experienced, make staff cuts. There aren't as many uh, reporters at the local newspaper, or there aren't as many media outlets as there used to be um, that are helping businesses and organizations get the word out about who they are and what they do. So a lot of these companies are either hiring agencies or building their internal departments for videographers, for graphic designers, for social media managers, um, for people who write and produce content. We, we have a variety of clients we work for. Um, York College, the sponsor of this um, interview, uh, is actually one that we, we work with to help them produce content. Um, we are an arm of their public relations uh, communications department um, to help them produce a mass amount of content. Um, you know, the, the term, a, li a little cliche, content is king. Um, there are a lot of companies focusing on content. It takes time and resources to produce that content. Um, and content can look like a variety of things. It can look like a feature story. It can look like a press release. Um, it can be social media graphics. Um, web advertising graphics, video content. Um, so marketing in a lot of ways is being that creative and, and producing that content. Um, and I think if um, students start to look at those fields, so I think in marketing, there's actually a variety of 
if, if one of those areas is more interesting to you, you know, pursue those and, and specialize in that. Um, coming from journalism, when resources were tight, we were kind of taught um, just do a little bit of everything. I think there are some places that will hire somebody who can do a little bit of everything, but I also think there's something to be said for something, for somebody who's really good at one of those things, um, because you can bring a lot of value to the table and in, in being a great graphic designer, being a great writer, being really good at uh, communications and, and putting that piece together. So I, I definitely think there's um, great potential for students to get hired in marketing when they look at businesses building out those, those segments for themselves. Great. Um... As a sort of a final question of what is, uh, keeping in mind who our audience is, what's one piece of advice that you would give uh, a high school student who's looking to get into this industry? I know you just kind of touched upon a little bit of that with you yeah. know, maybe finding an area to, to really focus in on while still sort of maintaining some skills in, in being being sort of a jack of all trades. So yeah. is there any other advice that, that you would give to a high school student? I think um, practice practice as much as possible. You know, high schools have, um, some still have, you know, uh, student newspapers, which can be a great outlet to continually practice your writing. Um, if you are a designer, practice that design element on a regular basis. Um, if, you know, you can um, improve your writing by reading a lot and, and learning um, tone and voice and that sort of thing. Um, look at marketing examples out there. Um, I find that uh, I am better at my job when I practice it regularly. I am better at writing when I write more frequently. I am better at designing when I design more often. Um, you will look at things years from now that you did in high school that maybe you do in college or whatever your, your training path is, and you might cringe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> how it sounds or what it looks like, <laughs> but you get better over time. You, you improve over time. And so I think practice, even at this point in, in high school, you will start to develop that skill. You will start to get better at it the more often that you do it. So I think, um, you know, don't be afraid of the fact that you might not have the training in it now. You might not be perfect at it now. Um, practice improves over time. And, and there's no reason why students can't start practicing some of those skill sets now. Absolutely. Rebecca, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you sharing your story and, and, and giving some of that advice and, and just helping some of the students that are interested in this, uh, in this career path. So uh, I just wanna say thank you so much. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm happy to have done it.